this is Liz from Nearly Enough Dice, working with the UK Gaming Media Network. I always trip over up over that, I don't know why. And here we are again to have a look at an unnamed game. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the unnamed game. Um, this game has been in development by Vlaja for uh, many years, about four or five years I think. Wow. And the working title of the game has always been uh, the Czech word for summoners. But because there's a, a popular game out with a very similar name to that, um, Czech guys now realise they can't just call the game what they wanted to originally call it, so they are they are trying to think of a new game. They were desperate to try and finalise the name before this weekend, haven't managed to do so. So it, it's still the unknown game, um, and over the weekend we've been calling it Summoners, but it, it isn't going to be called that. Uh, it, yeah. Yeah. Eventually. So. Okay. So we've got it all nicely laid out here. We've got some lovely tokens, some lovely cards, we've got a lovely board. How does it all work? Okay, well the first thing to mention is this is, this is a prototype. Yep. Uh, this is all thrown together with homemade graphics and cards. Uh, the original version will hopefully look nicer than, you know... But these ones have things. love. They, they do, they do. <laughs> Manually cut out individually. Um, what the game is about is uh, it's two to four players mm -hmm. and the four player game can either be played as, as a team game or as an all out fight everybody for himself yep. uh, and the three player game has a clever scoring mechanic as well okay. but the two player game is basically two wizards uh, summoning creatures in an arena uh, that are fighting against each other but the game is not just about fighting your opponent and killing his creatures uh, the, the main game is the arena masters have set you these objective cards mm -hmm. uh, and it's these objective cards which give you something that you're actually trying to do that yeah. gets you victory points right. actually just destroying your opponent's pieces on the board doesn't get you any victory points mm -hmm. so if you play the game just trying to kill as many of them as possible and not look at the victory cards you're not going to win uh, this one is the exception because this victory card is if you kill three of your opponent's pieces on the turn so that's the that's an exception mm -hmm. um, so the way that the game plays what's clever about it is that you start off by placing these pieces on a space on the board yep. um, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to get patterns because you will start the game with three of these cards in your hand from your deck of cards um, and these cards will have on them a particular pattern so if you look here yep. you're trying to make these patterns on the board yep. and if you do make that pattern on the board then as, as an action for the turn you can play this card and it will summon sometimes a, a better version of a creature into the space and it's got some text on there which tells you what to do yeah so you start off just by placing you know common pieces mm -hmm. but then once you've got the right pattern you'll go aha right i'm now going to play this which does this moves this to here kills you oh and i've now achieved this objective yeah okay so you're always trying to go for the objectives in the game now the skill level in this game is actually really high if i play against any of the guys from the CG company themselves, there is no point in me playing because I just can't win. Wow. It's like if I was to play chess against somebody who can actually play chess, I just can't win. So, you know, there's no random dice for combat or anything like that. Mm -hmm. If a card allows you to do a combat move, then you do a combat move and you kill an enemy piece. The skill level in the game is very high because when I'm playing against the guys from CGE, yeah. I'm trying to make a pattern for a card I've got in my hand. Yeah. They know all the cards. <laughs> they know what I'm trying to do. So they come along and disrupt my pattern, and I go, oh, right, I now can't do that. Yeah. Um, and as I say, I, I just can't beat them. Mm -hmm. You know, I lose, I lose the games 9-0 all the time. Oh. Um, so, yeah, you're trying to summon the creatures, do the cool stuff. You have legendary creatures as well, which are basically really, really super powerful creatures. Mm -hmm. The pattern on them, you'll notice, is, it, it's much harder to create the pattern. Yep. But if you do create the pattern, it, it's a much more powerful creature. Okay? Yep. Uh, there's also a catch up mechanic with reinforcement cards. So the reinforcement cards are played at the start of your turn if you're falling so far behind. So if your opponent has so many more pieces than you you can play this card and it, it gives you a boost because mm -hmm. uh, without these cards one player would just get get crushed um, it's been difficult balancing the cards because in one version the cards were actually a little bit too good yeah so people were sort of deliberately not doing well in order to play the reinforcement cards. I but see. now now they're pretty well balanced excellent um, 
that's the base game. There is a variant of the game where you don't play with these cards. Right. Because some gamers out there just want a combat game where I'm killing the opponent. Yeah. So they've developed an alternative way to play the game where you don't use the objective cards, mm -hmm. and instead there is a scoring system based on the creatures that you kill. Okay. So again, they, they, they're going to make a game which you can play it that way if you like, you can play it just as a fighting game. The four-player team game is really interesting yeah. because what happens is you've got some of the cards in your hand, so you're obviously trying to make the patterns for your cards, um, but at any time on your turn, if I play a card which says you may perform a total of two moves, I can actually say, no, my teammate, you make the moves. Ah because he wants to do the move so that he's going to make the pattern for the cards that he's got in his hand. Yeah. So it really is a team game. Yeah, You're doing things and giving your, your teammate the ability to do things instead of you so that he can get a benefit on his turn. Yeah. Um, it's, all, it's all Vlad's sort of ideas. He, he puts a lot of clever ideas into a game so it isn't just two guys fighting. Yeah. Okay, that's basically it. Um, there are four factions that are going to come with the game. Yep. The blue guys and the red guys uh, are exactly the same decks, so you can play the same decks against each other. But the green and the brown guys are, are different factions. Right. So although you will draw from the common legendary deck, all of the cards in here are completely different cards. Wow, okay. These are like mountainous creatures, these are forest creatures, uh, and each deck has got a theme, so it does things yeah, in a, in a certain one. way. Yeah. Brilliant. And um, so I understand that you're going to be hopefully releasing this at Essen this year? Yep, Essen will be the release. Excellent. Yep. So uh, we'll have to keep our eyes open at Essen then? Yeah, and as I say, the final version will look a lot nicer than this with nice artwork and slightly better production quality value, I hope. And, and, and still the love. And, and still, still the, the love. love. Yeah, Excellent. each piece will be manually cut out by myself. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. You heard it here first. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time today. That's okay. Thank you. Thanks.